After a meeting with Ukraine's top military command on Monday, during which Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was briefed about Russia's winter and autumn plans, he cited the actual involvement of North Korea in the war. Whoever helps Russia, we will respond as firmly as necessary to defend Ukraine, Zelensky said in his nightly address to the nation. He also said that his victory plan, which he dubbed as Ukraine's strategy to compel Russia to a just end to this war, will be presented this week to all our partners in Europe. He added that the plan will be presented publicly, including the initial response we have already received from our partners. He also said that 1 million Ukraine funded drones have been delivered to the front line as of Friday. Серед головного була доповідь розвідок служби зовнішньої розвідки та ГУР щодо намірів росіян на осінь зиму. Все доволі детально, фактично включення у війну Північної Кореї. Також відносини Росії з деякими іншими країнами, які, на жаль, інвестують у затягування війни. У відповідь дав конкретні завдання силам оборони, силам безпеки, уряду і нашим дипломатам. Хто б не допомагав Росії, будемо реагувати так жорстко, як треба для захисту України. Буде і відповідна наша робота з партнерами, щоб російські наміри не спрацювали. Цього тижня ми представимо всім партнерам у Європі нашу стратегію примусу Росії до справедливого завершення цієї війни. Звичайно, план перемоги буде представлений публічно. Причому вже разом з тим першим реагуванням, яке ми отримали від партнерів. Станом на сьогодні є вже мільйон дронів, які були закуплені за державний кошт та поставлені на фронт. І це тільки те, що робить держава. Є також постачання від волонтерів, від усіх, хто підтримує. Президент Джо Байден is in Florida to survey the devastation inflicted on the state's Gulf Coast by Hurricane Milton. The president's visit Sunday comes as he urges Congress to approve additional emergency disaster money after back-to-back -back hurricanes lashed the southeast. Many Floridians spent much of Saturday either waiting hours in line for gas, trying to get home or beginning the arduous work of cleaning up after Hurricane Milton. Governor Ron DeSantis said several fuel depots where residents could get 10 gallons of gas for free were set to open. Officials were also using state fuel stockpiles to replenish area gas stations. Moody's Analytics estimates economic costs from the storm will range from $50 billion to $85 billion.
Gunfire broke out among a crowd near Tennessee State University's homecoming celebrations, killing one person and wounding nine others, police said. A crowd that gathered earlier Saturday for homecoming events was thinning out when people in two groups near the campus began shooting at around 5 p.m., said Metro Nashville Police spokesperson Don Aaron. Shell casings indicate that gunfire was exchanged across a street, he said. Metro Nashville Police Commander Anthony McLean said the gunfire didn't appear to be directly related to university events, which had included a parade and other festivities. The football game was taking place in another part of town when the gunfire happened. A police statement on social media said a 24-year-old man died. The victims included two 12-year-olds and a 14-year-old with non-critical injuries, Aaron said. Police said that at least some of the wounded appear to have been involved in the exchange of gunfire. Police and firefighters quickly responded, some using belts as tourniquets. We are upset, we are angry about that disruption. We are angry that there were um, persons whose days were disrupted, that the innocence in this event was taken away um, and that lives were endangered.